Hey guys, Steve here. So back with another video, and we are back with Mac OS 10 optimization part two. Today we're going to show you guys how to fix the unknown processors in Mac OS 10 inside VMware. So I have my Mac right here, and uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I have fixed this problem before. So as you can see, I have uh, fixed the problem by getting the Core i5 processors here. But previously, it was unknown here. You see this? Um, before Intel Core i5 was say unknown, like 2x 4 gigahertz unknown. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, this is quite quite easy. So let's get going to that. So the first one is you need to um, download the copy of Con Clover Configurator Click on that and Clover Configurator right here and on uh, the uh, Tony Max x86 let me um, go ahead and do this so so we need to, uh, need to search for um, Clover Configurator and you can check the one that has Tony Max x86 and in the download here, it says download not available, but it is available because you haven't locked the images yet. You need a uh, Tony Max x86 account to do this, so you can either log in or register yourself, right? Um, so once you have that, uh, you can download from your VMware or from your computer, then drag it inside VMware. So once you have configurator, configurator, just click to open. Of course, you need to um, go to uh, system preferences, and you have to go to security and privacy. And you need to go to security for privacy here. And you need to um, allow apps download from anywhere. You click the lock to make changes and repeal. Once you can see uh, over there, we see the config plist.found. You need to click on mount EFI partition. Okay, the next thing is um, I actually followed Tech Reviews video about this. This is the install bootloader on uh, OS 10 or Capi 10. Now, um, I download the uh, bootloader. I am not installing the bootloader, but um, I'm just here to talk about the EFI partition. So just go ahead and um, click here, just mount the EFI partition. And um, you need to get to this video, or I will post the uh, installation down below. Go uh, to El Capitan bootloader and the key for EFI. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, the bootloader only uh, on the El Capitan bootloader. Um, it's just my like my research lately. So this is the bootloader you need to download as well. Download click on that and the bootloader is right here. So this is the EFI. Once you're done, you need to drag it on, on your Mac and you still see the um, key for no for uh, yeah the EFI.zip. Uh, the EFI.zip you extract it and go back to Clover Configurator. Uh, click on mount EFI. Click on mount EFI partition, click open partition, and you see EFI is uh, empty. What you need to do is click on EFI folder. Um, you can drag it to EFI folder or you can do this um, later. Uh, but first, we need to click on EFI folder, Clover, then click config.plist. Um, maybe no, 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 that not that. Um, you don't need you do not open it with the Clover configurator. You need to open it with text edit. Um, text edit here. Uh, open with order, order, and so see the text edit. Open, and you scroll down until. Uh, you see the SM BIOS right here. Okay, the next thing you need to do is download the copy of Chameleon Wizard. 
the previous part I also saw this one they click on the Chiamlong wizard okay now you have the um, already have the name of the MacBook Air okay do the same just take a take, take the Air MacBook Air 5.2 and you focus on the product name family manufacturer port ID serial number iOS version iOS date iOS vendor uh, all of these things need to apply here so these are the thing here this is built in OIMAX uh, Tech Lewis video uh, he shows is after the OIMAX so you need to change to your uh, one to your one that your model that you changed early on the part, part one is the MacBook Air what you do is replace the uh, the number the uh, the string the string here to the one that's on the uh, Chameleon wizard uh, for example the BIOS release date uh, bio BIOS date is 5.10.12 you change it to 5.10.12 um, I will do it there so so first is the BIOS release date uh, BIOS date search for that and click copy uh, delete this and paste it here and um, next BIOS vendor Apple Inc BIOS version uh, change as well BIOS version MacBook Air 5.1 uh, copy um, right here uh, no, um, okay and the board ID for to replace the board product from here to the here to here of course I will not skip because I want to show you guys so that you will not be misunderstood of course same Apple Inc all those that say Apple Inc you, you need to skip because it's um, it's not that important label type uh, I don't say both type so um, chassis accept tag say iMac aluminum so this is quite difficult to just to skip uh, chassis of manufacturers Apple Inc uh, to start 13 family family here you need to change to the MacBook Air yeah um, yeah MacBook Air do the one you want yeah the family right here um, MacBook Air Gen um, because they were here, uh, I forgot the M. Manufacturer, of course, Apple Inc. You need to change. Uh, mobile product name, yeah, product name. You, know, you change, you copy, you, you place them right here. Um, a little bit. Uh, serial number, of course, is very important. And the version 1.0 so the same okay the next thing save the file okay once you save that uh, you're done with this you need to here we're done here okay what you do is drag it to the EFI partition you have mapped earlier according to out our 10 authenticate as well according to the password for this once you're done, you need to restart your uh, virtual machine. So this is take a little while. Um, okay, once you're in the uh, layout going to be different it is this so this is my check review so I do not own this thing I do not own it. this is about check reviews if you want to check out his channel he's all about installing OS 10 on those uh, VMware VirtualBox and your PC so if you want to check it out you should probably check his channel his check reviews 
um, this um, check channel right here and the one that we want is this uh, this, this is like the um, bootloader and uh, this is boot mac os 10 for mac every 10 retail by the build and you just enter okay then we have a message called uh, this one uh, unreliable with more than one virtual core click continue and should continue and um, I did it. Um, okay. And you should see this for the, um, the password. Okay, so once you are here, um, let's get to Wait for this to appear here. So, uh, uh, I will go about this Mac. And here goes the um, now we have the Core i5 version, of course. And now you don't like that Core i5. You want to change Core i7 or Core. Duo, something like that. So what you do is I have right here. So you need to go to system. Uh, we're gonna do this. so. Our system, the finder, your device, uh, library, and you want to go to. Just it. Um, lab. Core services. Core services. Um. No, 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 not there, there. Okay, where is it? Okay, uh, back, no, 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 back. System, the system right here, and library. And then you see core services. With, okay, and there we go. So, core services, and you better go to swipe down, see resources. Okay, resources English.lpoj, and you see, wait a minute. Um, So what you do is tell a copy of TextMate. I need to say where is it. So it must be an Apple configuration here, but um, I don't seem to find it. Okay, so not right away. I'm still researching her. Uh, where the hell is the Apple configuration playlist right here? But um, um, that's okay with that. Uh, you can still live with that Wi Fi. Here you, you have that um, a no fix. And so the next part, I'm going to show you how to install VMware tools. Um, I already have so so as I know, VMware tools is um basically designed for uh, full screen like me and uh, hibernating uh, sleeping those functionality and uh, so if you come below if you want me to make that video because it's really short it's really short video um, just a final web how to install the VMware tools so 
next one I'm going to show you how to speed up this map. It's like it's really slow, you know, like yeah, it's really slow. And I find we how to do it. Um, I'm actually searching on beam off. Uh, beam off is how to make it better time. So comment down below if you want to make that video as well. So thanks for watching this video and uh, hope you guys enjoy my videos a lot. And you need to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, suggest for more videos. I haven't had any of these suggestions uh, so far. Uh, so, if you um, want me to do any more videos, uh, just comment down below. Uh, notice that uh, I still not able to do most of the video because um, of the restriction of my family, like pure. So, thanks for watching the video, and hope you guys in the next.